Mr. Speaker, I'd like to congratulate the Rotary Club of Miami on its 100th anniversary, which will be celebrated through the Century of Service this Saturday, March 25th. The Rotary Club of Miami is the fifth oldest Rotary Club in Florida and has been working around the clock to make positive and long-lasting contributions to our beautiful South Florida community. Through community service projects and philanthropy, this organization has helped establish several institutions that aim to assist some of the most vulnerable members of our society, including the Miami Lighthouse for the Blind, the YMCA of Greater Miami, and Boys Town of Florida. Since its inception, the Rotary Club of Miami has been headed by extraordinary individuals with a vision to make South Florida an even better place in which to live. The first president was Dr. James Jackson, who was instrumental in establishing Jackson Memorial Hospital, which is now the third largest public hospital and the third largest teaching hospital in our great country. Another Miami staple of the, of the Rotary Club of Miami is the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, which was established by one of the club members and is ranked the number one eye hospital in the United States. The Rotary Club of Miami also helped found one of the largest burn centers in the South, the Bone and Tissue Bank at the University of Miami, and the Rotary Club of Miami has also supported education by providing scholarship opportunities for high school, college, and postgraduate students. Mr. Speaker, I am honored to recognize the Rotary Club of Miami for its impressive legacy. I thank everyone who is involved in this club, supporting this wonderful organization, and I wish the members of the Rotary Club of Miami much continued success in the decades to come.